Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I am Shahmi Bazisham bin Muhammad Thawfi, the group leader of Group Mumtaz from Section 4 Engineering Professional Practice together with my teammates Tuan Bukhari, Ahmad Hamali Daniel, Muhammad Sharafi and Wan Muhammad Shaki Ikram. We are going to present our topic on engineers way in adapting to reduce, reuse and recycle. So, without further ado, let's get started. Next my name is Muhammad Sharafi. I will explain about what is the concept of three R's. We do reuse and recycle are the three fundamental components of environmentally responsible consumer behavior. Three R is often referred to as the trash hierarchy. The three R concept is an incentive to apply a sustainable development from traditional waste, waste management system to a modernization of waste management system by doing the singleton selection support on trash disposal places to more garbage arrangements concepts. The concept of three arms. The first one is reduced by limiting the number of pushes you make in the first place. For example, while processing a computer or television, we should limit ourselves to pushes only one so it won't go to waste and if the old one break, we can buy another similar item. The second one is reuse. Reuse equipment by using it as much as feasible before replacing it with a new equipment. For example, we could improve our equipment and use it again rather than dispose of it and buy a new one. The last one is recycle. A way of transforming an old thing into new or different goods or structure. For example, the components or product cannot be thrown away in this manner. Human can be more innovative at time by transforming the structure of the old equipment into a new structure for a different function. In this part, we will discuss about the history behind the art. Where did the three arts come from? There is still debate on the origin of, of the reduce, reuse, recycle slogan, but the word towards reducing our waste output, we use what we can and recycle what we can, has been around for centuries. The economic boom in the 1950s did lead to an increase in the number of litters and trash due to growing popularity in single-use items. However, it was not long until people began to realize the impact on the environment and Earth's ecosystem. Earth Day and the beginning of a movement. J. Lalot Nelson spearheaded the first National Earth Day at America on April 22, 1970. The holiday grew on popularity and now celebrated in over 100 countries around the globe. Throughout the 1970s, many different laws were established to promote conservation efforts and raise awareness of them to the general public. Thus, the three arts were born. And the rise of the three arts. As society began to learn more about the three arts and increasing number of opportunities to engage in their practices emerged, schools and communities would to develop curriculum, events and programs with the overall goal of every person understanding the importance of protecting the earth. Today, children in preschool to students in college ways to be to be eco-friendly and the potential consequence of not acting in this part uh, we will discuss about the studies on the effectiveness of tr implementation international cooperative on tr policies showed that the directions of the policies are developed not only as simple waste management strategies but also as an approach to obtain synergistic effect with national strategies which 
aim at landfill prevention, procurement of resources, and reduction of DHD emission. In addition, for circulation use of resources, it was identified that hazardous waste management is recognized as an important issue for consideration. Next, the role of engineers to three up. Reduce. The point is the disturbance. Land disturbance harms soil ecosystem, kill plants, changes from water patterns, and pollute runoff. Some of the impact may be corrected or mitigated by decreasing the disturbance. Reuse. The point is development site. Reusing previously built site is one of the more effective strategies to prevent environmental deterioration caused by development. In addition, it will conserve a greenfield location for the project and minimize the effect of the transportation to remote site. Recycle. The point is material. Some of the material that may be specific and used in the site development process are recycled for the next project or construction and the energy of worker could be minimized. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone, my name is Wan Muhammad Shaki Ikram. So today, I will explain about the strategy to implement 3R principle. So, there are many factors that cause failure to implement 3R in our country, such as the lack of technology or facilities and lack of awareness about the importance of 3R among the people. So, to avoid this failure, we need to think about some strategies to implement the 3R principle in our country. The first strategy is to implement 3R principle is by organizing the campaign and education about 3R principle. The campaign will promote the importance of 3R principles and the disadvantage if the principle is not done by the people in our country, such as the waste in our country will increase and it can cause pollution to our country. So the next strategy is by promoting the recycling business by increasing the recycling facilities and improve the technologies that use for recycling. This strategy will make the people easily send their trash that can be recycled to the available facility. The third strategy is by providing the standard or guideline for waste disposal. Most people or any company should be provided with a guideline to manage their waste like what type of waste that can be recycled or can be disposed and a place to put the waste should be provided. The last strategy is by implementing the law and regulation related to waste management. The government should implement the law by giving a huge fine to people or company who does not manage the waste properly, such as they let their waste flow to the river and cause water pollution to the river. There are many benefits of uh, 3R. The first one is use and reuse can save energy. The second one is reduce greenhouse gas emission. The third one is reduce pollution. The fourth one is reduce landfill space. And the last one is save money. Use and reuse can save energy. The mining and refining of minerals and other natural resources and the manufacturing process are energy intensive process. An example, according to the Ohio Department of Natural Resource, 20 times more energy is needed to make aluminum from bauxite ore than from recycled material. The second one is reduce greenhouse gas emission. A large portion of the energy consumed during the process of mining, refining and manufacturing comes from burning fossil fuels. Recycling helps reduce greenhouse gas emission by reducing energy consumption. Using recycled material to make new products reduce the need for new material. This avoid greenhouse gas emission that will result from extracting or mining new material. Reduce pollution. Uh, recycling prevents the emission of many greenhouse gases and water pollutants and save energy. Using recovered material generate less solid waste. Recycling helps to reduce the pollution caused by extraction and processing of new material. The large amount of waste associated with our consumption in inevitable leads to pollution of our air, soil and water. For example, improperly disposed of used motor oil can pollute ground and fresh water. The EPA estimates that 200 million gallons of used motor oil are improperly disposed each year. The fourth one is reduce landfill space. Many of items we throw away end up in landfill where they take up valuable space and sources of air and water pollution. 
Often, these items are not biodegradable and take centuries to break down. The EPA estimates the average American produces 4.3 pounds of non-hazardous trash per day. Other sources put the amount of waste that could be recycled as high as 60%. The last one benefits of 3R is to make save money. The material from construction site can be reused or recycled. The material that can be reused greatly cut the cost of ordering and transporting the material. Design for sustainability. The first one is reduce construction mistake. Measuring and cutting mistake reduce a lot of source and increase the cost of construction and manufacturing. The second one is order the right amount of material. It is recommend seeking input from your, your most experienced knowledgeable people when planning your work. This help ensure you get the right quantities, not too much, not too little of concrete, lumber and other materials that you need to do your job. The third one is, get the right size material for the job. If you can use drywall 8 feet high, don't use, don't use 10 foot size because that extra 2 feet will likely go to waste. The same goes to the length of 2x4 pipes and other material. The fourth one is, store your material properly, protect your material investment, storing lumber on level blocking and under cover to minimize damage, stack and cover bricks and other masonry. Keep your product in, in secret location to prevent losses due to thief. The fifth one is recycle and reuse. Save large drywall scrap for use as filler piece. Use clean concrete chunks or brick and other masonry rubble as backfill along foundation wall. Reuse joint compound bucket as storage container. The sixth one is choose building products with minimal packaging. You are paying for the packaging that your doors, window and other products arrive in and then you have to pay to dispose of that packaging as well. Look for product that can safely but minimally wrap. The last one is work with your suppliers. Ask them to deliver your material on a returnable pallet that they can pick up when they make additional deliveries or when the project is, is over. See if they buy back any product you don't use. Throwing away material is bad for your bottom line and bad for the environment. Do yourself and us a favor by taking steps to reduce your construction waste. Now, I'm going to talk about the trends in 3R and waste management policies based on comparative studies that were carried out in different countries. The countries involved were the European Union, United States of America, Korea, Japan, China, and Vietnam. The tables provided in the slides indicate the waste management frameworks that were revised and launched by the countries mentioned earlier. Next, let me show you the waste management targets that were revived by each country. For example, the USA, Japan and Korea all set targets for waste, man waste generation. The targets varied from organic waste to even household waste. Now, let us move on to our next contention. Apart from 3R, there is also a concept with similar applications and effectiveness. Moreover, both of the concepts are widely used together in various industries. The concept stated is known as 5S. 5S is a systematic form of visual management utilizing everything from floor tape to operation manual. 5S is a framework that emphasizes the use of specific mindset and tools to create efficiency and value. That involves observing, analyzing, searching for ways, and also the practice of removing waste. 5S refers to five key elements introduced by Japanese. The first one is Seiri, which means to keep things organized. Saiton means to ensure the neatness. Seisho is to keep workplace clean and to ensure purpose-driven work. Seikatsu means to accept. Seikatsu means a set of standards and last but and last but not least, shipsuke, which means to maintain discipline. Now, let us put both 3R and 5S side by side and see the comparison between them. We can see that the differences between 3R and 5S is 3R involve three main key practices, which are reduce, reuse, and recycle, with additional two elements recovery and disposal. While on the other hand, 5S has five key elements which are Seiri, Seiton, Seisho, Seiketsu and Shitsuke. 3R originated 
from the US. This was the time of the Vietnam War, when Americans were demanding that air pollution, waste and water quality needed attention, while 5S originated from Japan during post-war, where the leaders of a burgeoning Toyota Industries were seeking to reduce manufacturing waste and inefficiencies. Moving on, the, similarity, the similarities for the two concepts are both 3R and 5S involve waste management and both of them are often integrated together and practiced widely. Plastic is a material that is hard to recycle or biodegrade and material that is made of plastic such as plastic bag or plastic straw is the most waste found around the world and plastic is a dangerous material that can cause pollution to the world. So we need to find an initiative or a material that can replace plastic. So the first item that can replace the plastic is the plastic straw. We can replace the plastic straw by using the stainless steel straw. Most of the plastic straw pollute the ocean and cause threatening life at sea such as turtle. So, by replacing the plastic straw with a stainless steel straw, the straw can be used again and the usage of plastic straw can be prevented. The next item is the plastic bag. The plastic bag can be replaced by using the organic fabric bag. The organic fabric bag is made of organic or recycled cotton, tapioca, palm leaf and many more. The bag can be biodegrade easily and the day to biodegrade it is less than the plastic bag. And this organic fabric bag can be reused many times. The last item is the plastic cutlery. Plastic cutlery can be replaced by using the bamboo cutlery. The bamboo cutlery is made of the bamboo and it can be used like the other cutlery. The bamboo cutlery can be used many times, while the plastic cutlery is usually used once. In the nutshell, our engineers play important roles in realizing and practicing the tree art concept in order to maintain and improve the effectiveness and efficiency in the industries. Next, various strategies such as campaign and education and even law and regulation can be applied to practice the 3R concept. And last but not least, by integrating the 3R and 5S concept together practically, we can achieve better performance and reduce waste generated. And with that, we end our presentation regarding the engineer's way in adapting to the 3R concept. And if you have any question regarding the topic, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will do our best to answer your question. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum. <laughs>